In a distant realm, when gods and deities ruled the heavens and the earth, Anahita, meaning strong and pure river, was the divine lady of the water element, bestowing life upon all rivers and streams. She unveiled herself with the beauty that the sunlight reflected in the water. Her radiant eyes, filled with brilliance, shone like two dewdrops, granting new life to anyone who gazed upon her. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and comment. Upon her head, she wore a crown adorned with eight resplendent feathers resembling stars, and golden earrings hung from her ears. She adorned her neck with a splendid necklace made of precious gems. Her attire was woven from threads of golden silk, and whenever she drew near the sun, a golden radiance enveloped her. In one of her hands, she held a magical wooden staff that guided her horse's wind, rain, cloud, and thunder with astonishing swiftness. In her other hand, she carried a sacred plant that could infuse life into rivers and waters, always ready by her side, nourished by the flowing streams. A palace stood beside the rivers, built for Anahita. The palace had a thousand columns and windows through which the sunlight magically streamed. It was a place of reverence for warriors and people alike. She was worshipped as a symbol of generosity and beauty. People offered sacrifices and gifts to Anahita, and cities were named after her. Notable figures such as Jumshid, Freydown, and Goshtas presented grand offerings to Anahita. Temples dedicated to her were erected throughout the land, among the wealthiest and most opulent. These temples were situated in safe and elevated areas, acting as guardians of her beauty and benevolence. However, a shadow of darkness cast itself upon this magnificent land. Greek generals sought conquests to expand their dominion. Driven by power and wealth, they aimed to acquire the teachings and treasures hidden within the temples. Anahita's temples also fell victim to these invasions. The splendid and honored temples that had stood resilient against winds and rains for ages succumbed to the onslaught of Greek warriors.